Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL and welcome to another SQL Minute. Today I want to talk to you about common table expressions and how you can use them. So I have a use case to show you a good example of how a common table expression can make your query simpler. So what we'd like to do is use a common table expression to find the three most expensive products that we sell in AdventureWorks and then based off those ex products, find which sales orders contain those products. So let's start. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find the top expensive products and show you how that's done. So it's pretty easy. So we'll do a select um, list price. We'll do product ID. And then the list price from the production product table. All right, and then I need to do top three on this. So let's do top three. Let's see how this runs. And then this is just gonna give us the most expensive. Oh, no, I forgot to do is order it. Silly me in the sending order. All right, now what I get are the top most expensive products in our catalog and it's ordered in descending order by list price. So the trick with this query now is, is to take the results and use them to find all the sales order detail lines that refer to these products and then based on that get the sales order header. So one way we can do that is to use a common table expression. And the common table expression allows us to wrap the query and then use the results later. So let me show you. So I can write a common table expression such as with um, CTE top product as, and then I just put this in parentheses. And I'm going to break this out a bit. And then I could say select star from CTE top product. Now let's run this. And I should get the same exact rows. And I do. But what I've done is I've now taken this query and wrapped it in a common table expression. And notice how I'm now able to query that same common table expression right here. So the good news now is, is that we can write a query to get our sales order and sales order detail information. So let's build upon this right here. So I'm going to say select, and I'm just going to take the count number and that information from here, paste it down. And then I'm going to say from sales, sales order header, and then enter join sales dot sales order detail uh, sales order header dot sales order ID equals sales order detail dot sales order ID. So now I got the um, actual lines that we for the individual products that have been bought. And then one of those, I got to figure out if uh, the product ID is one of these three. So I can do sales order detail dot, whoops, I can join on the CTE top product. And we'll call that P on, and then we'll do sales order detail dot product ID equals p dot oh notice when i now do the alias for ct top product i get two fields back and those are the two fields that we selected here so now i can say product id get rid of that because that's not supposed to be there and now when i run this i should get a list of accounts from sales orders and their dates the total due for um, all sales orders where one of the wine items in that sales order is one of the top three products. So let's run this and see what happens. And here we have the count number, the order date, and the total due. And I suppose what I could do here is do sales order detail dot product ID just so we can see if I'm getting those top three. Remember they were like the seven somethings. 
and you can see 749, 750, 751. All right, so remember those. Um, and then I can just run this query again to see what's inside. And it's 749, 50, 51. So it is working splendid. Again, this is a great way to use a common table expression to organize your query. Just to recap, I have, I have defined a common table expression using the with statement. Inside, I have a query. And this query happens to return two columns, product ID and list price. And then I'm able to use the results of that query later on in another select statement. And here I'm actually referring to the one of the return values from that common table expression. Now I know what's killing y'all is that I haven't been formatting this nicely. So let's do that real quickly here. And I'm going to, I was pointing around earlier, so let's put this in. And now when I click on formatted, I get a formatted result, which I can paste in here now. And if you want to know how I did that exactly, you can watch my other video on how to format your SQL in this scene. So now you've seen a really good use case for common table expressions. And I hope you like it.